Hi, I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. Are you currently trying to decide whether or not you need to have a cortisone shot or go to physical therapy for a shoulder impingement? So I'm assuming if you have a diagnosis like shoulder impingement, you went to your doctor because you're having pain with certain motions. You're probably freaking out because it's very scary when it hurts to get dressed, it hurts to sleep. Um, you can't really find a comfortable position like walking around, your arm doesn't, doesn't really like it when it's just hanging. Um, you can have pain putting away dishes, vacuuming, all sorts of things, right? And it's just all the time, especially if it's your right arm and you're right-handed and you have to use this all the time and everything basically reminds you that your shoulder doesn't feel very well. And so, and most of us, we've been ignoring that for a while because <laughs> it'll just go away on its own. and. Why would we need to, to do anything with it? Um, so if you've gone to the doctor and the doctor's talking to you about whether or not you need a cortisone shot, um, that's probably a pretty scary place to be because you're thinking the absolute worst. You're afraid that um, if this cortisone shot doesn't work, you're gonna need surgery or there's some other major thing waiting around the corner that's gonna tell you that your shoulder is gonna be messed up for a very, very long time. Um, and you just want this pain to go away. And so this doctor is offering you a cortisone shot, which should, based on what the doctor's probably telling you, get rid of your pain in a couple days. And so, but you're also curious what a non-invasive item would be like physical therapy and what, what, what would the differences be? So let me kind of go over that a little bit. First, a shoulder impingement, just so that we understand what we're talking about, is the mechanism, the, the mechanics, excuse me, of your shoulder are not working properly. And so that means that the, your arm bone or your humerus, depending on what, you know, where we want to say things, but your arm bone sits in a very shallow little cave, right? And that's what it, how it's attached to your rotator cuffs, kind of keep it in that spot. There's some other items that help that too inside the joint. And when the rotator cuff works correctly, it, it pulls your arm bone down enough so that you can clear um, the little hat that sits over here, which is called your chromium. And so if your rotator cuff is not strong enough or isn't coordinated, it's not recruiting itself properly, then what happens is that arm bone doesn't depress enough to clear and then you get this pinch. You, you, can, feel, you can feel like it just doesn't go any farther. Some people, they can get it to go farther. There's just a lot of pain for a second and then you have a little bit more range. Um, depending on how long you've been dealing with it, that could have been what was happening a couple weeks ago, and now you just can't even raise your arm without a huge amount of uh, discomfort. And so, but that's what the impingement is. The impingement is when the mechanics are off and it's causing your arm bone to actually hit another bone, pinching your rotator cuff. Um, and the, you know, the negative effects of that over time is, is actually a rotator cuff tear. So, cause that those two bones hitting each other will actually eventually bore a hole um, through your rotator cuff, possibly requiring surgery intervention later, later on. So the nice thing about cortisone shots is that they get rid of the inflammation. It is a high powered anti-inflammatory. So um, kind of like a ibuprofen, only a whole lot more strength and a lot more exact because you're not taking it orally. They're actually gonna inject it right into the shoulder joint, right where the tissue that needs it the most. Um, and so then it hopefully has more bang for its buck. So for the people that this works for, which is quite a few, um, it's obviously not 100%, but, it, but, but there is some really good benefits um, to getting rid of that inflammation, especially related to pain. Um, your doctor will or should tell you that you can only have so many of them uh, because eventually that will, what attacks the bad tissue that's inflamed and irritated that's causing the pain it also attacks good tissue, which can make your muscle a little bit weak um, and maybe a little bit more unstable. So they won't let you have more, um, that, you know, there's a certain amount that they'll let you have before um, they, they call it quits on giving you uh, cortisone shots. So cortisone shots do an amazing job of getting rid of the inflammation. And so what does physical therapy do and why would you even bother with that if you're gonna get rid of your pain? So. As I mentioned, the, the actual definition of the of a shoulder impingement is that the mechanics in your shoulder are not great. 
And guess what physical therapy does? Physical therapy helps fix and get rid of that mechanical problem. So by looking at your posture, by looking at which muscles are not as strong as maybe the opposing muscles so that there's a little bit of imbalance, by looking at the flexibility of certain of your arm and other muscles in your um, in your chest and your upper back and your neck, um, there can be a very evident reason as to what's going on and causing this dysfunction movement in your arm bone. And honestly, this can be something super slight, something that nobody other than a very trained professional can figure out. Slight change in where your arm is sitting inside of its joint can make a huge difference because there's not a whole lot of space in there. We're talking millimeters, not centimeters. And so just having a little bit of something off balance and off kilter can cause a huge amount of pain. And so having a specialist, somebody who specializes in shoulder joints, somebody who specializes in how muscles move and how, um, how to correct posture and how to look at your workspace, because sometimes it could be something that you're doing at your job that you've been doing for years that just eventually caused a problem. Um, there can be so many reasons why people have shoulder impingements and they don't have to be devastating and they don't have to last. And that is, um, that's literally what I do all day. Right? So as I, I help people fix their posture. I help people figure out, problem solve, which muscles and how to create that balance with very specialized exercises and some hands-on techniques that help you properly align your shoulder joint and help you to get the right amount of muscle recruitment to get everything to work correctly. And so those are the differences between a cortisone shot and physical therapy. If you have any questions about your specific situation and what's going on with your shoulder, feel free to contact me. Um, either send me a direct message through, um, through the site or, uh, go, uh, or send me an email. Okay, so I hope you're having a great day. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.